So last week I was able to do an interview with THC Baby Marley. Um, we've been trying to link up to do that for quite some time. It was also, we had some issues with, uh, with the uh, internet connection. Uh, it was also raining like cats and dogs over here. So I, I couldn't do uh, the interview um, outside um, in a place that, you know, wasn't much noise. Um, so I had to do it in the garage, but we ended up doing it. And um, I just want to share that interview with everyone. Um, I'm a big fan of THC, THC's music. Um, he's also my biological brother. So uh, check out the interview. Just, just, I just want to thank you for joining me tonight. Um, we've been trying to make this uh, little rendezvous happen for quite some time, so I'm really excited and thrilled that we finally, the stars finally in the, aligned. So um, awesome. let's get right to it, man. Um, so I'm a little conflicted with what to call you. I know on your SoundCloud you got Unbothered 1995 Worldwide, which is a mouthful. And uh, where else you're uh, TAC Baby Marley? So what what do I call you? What what do you want to be called? What? Have you um. Seen? Well, like my 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 artistry name is TAC Baby Marley, but as of lately, I've really been unbothered. So, honestly speaking, uh, I mean I think it's best people call me TAC Baby Marley because that's really my platform name. But like, um. Unbothered really is just a brand name, <clears throat> but my artist, my artist name is THC Baby Marley, but uh, nobody really calls me Unbothered. <laughs> like yeah. I said, it's just it's okay. just a brand name. So, okay, so to set the record straight, your THC Baby Marley, for Unbothered sure, 1995 is just the merch. It's just the brand, right? It's right, it's, it's it's just the brand. It's not even like uh, artist name. All right, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So, um, THC, um, so, uh, what drew you, what drew you into making music? Um, what drew me into making music really was, uh, my dad, um, you know, growing up, I used to watch that guy just make music and stuff and, um, watching him get drunk and stuff. I seen him make the best music or I seen him be the best person he was as far as like making music. So like seeing that while he was drunk, um, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like, like, like watching him being drunk, making some music and stuff, honestly drove me to do what I wanted to do. Cause, um, I'm really big into music and, uh, wow. one of the, a lot of artists that I, that I look up to like Little Wayne and stuff, they made their best music being under the influence. So, you know. So you feel, see, you feel like he was in his element when he was under the influence? Like he flowed better? Most, most definitely in his element. Okay. Right, 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 right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just so see him. Connection. You have some connection with seeing your father, your pops make music. Um, and that, right. And that's where, and that, so that's where that was kind of like um, subconsciously drawn in you. Or that could just be something, you know, biological. That could just, you just have that musical gene. You feel me? Um, what I you feel like, I feel like it's both. Um, like, it's in my gene. And then on top of that, it's like the environment that he was surrounded in uh, with his musical talent made him a really good artist on and they kind of like passed right you feel me it's kind of like groundhogs day all over again uh -huh. with his son so i got you i got you so it was that so you so your inf inspiration um came from your, your your father and um so who else inspired you as far as like um, as, and music and whatnot any other inspirations you saw so if we talk about like rap, uh, Lil Wayne is like one of my favorite rappers. Uh, um, okay. He influenced me in, in such a way that like 
no other artist can. I mean, I could give you five artists, who, but more than most definitely Lil Wayne because um, his penmanship is just fucking crazy. He's a pioneer. I mean, he started a big right when it comes to like auto tune, and I do hear a lot of that in your music. So I could, so I could, I would imagine that right. Wayne um, was a big influence. Uh, anybody else? It could be you yeah, know, like he. I think I'll take a few more rap well, like like general influences. I, I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. So like, Lil Wayne was a big influence as far as like me and my penmanship like my metaphors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Kanye West is definitely a big role model to me because he showed people like me and other people in my generation that you don't just have to make music. Like you could, I mean, you don't just have to like rap, you know what I'm saying? You could like make beats and stuff like that. Yeah. And like, you know, just be a whole pioneer. So definitely Kanye, you know, and I make my own beats. So that's why, that's where that, that goes down the line. And then Kid Cudi for sure. Because right. he showed me as a as a human being, like vulnerability is like so sacred. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, people feel that. People, yeah, I guess that's right. how many people relate to Cuddy because he's just he wears his he wears his personality, he wears his convictions, he wears his vulnerability on his sleeves. You know exactly. And that's exactly. why so many people relate to him. So. That's kind of a trifecta right there. Wayne, I heard Wayne, I heard Kanye, I heard Kid Cudi. Um, so, and I, I got one more, I got one more artist. And this artist is like one of my favorite artists in the world. Um, Sade, for sure, for sure. Cause like- Oh, Sade. <laughs> yeah, like Sade, her music is just like, it's it's the same thing with, 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 with Cudi. She's very vulnerable. She's, she's, she's so outspoken as well and like, on top of that, um, you know, she's so melodic. So yeah. like a lot of my melodies and you know what I'm saying, that stuff comes from Sade. Yeah. Just listening to her music makes me the, the, the artist I am with the yeah. melodic stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of melody in the people you chose. Um, there's a lot of melodies with Cuddy, a lot of melodies with um, Kanye, Sade, Wayne. That's a whole different. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole different caliber. If you even want to go to that chamber, but um, so yeah, those are some great influences. Um, what What is the most popular song that you have out right now? By uh, uh, it could be your standard. It could be numbers. Whatever it is, I don't, I don't know. However, you choose to answer that. Well, by numbers, my 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 my. Uh, Number one song, I guess, on any platform is TAC Baby Marley. But um, I feel like the fans and me uh, really fuck with the garden. Definitely the garden. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now that's definitely one of my favorites. Um, THC is definitely one of my favorites as well. Uh, oh, yeah. And I see, I see why those, I see why that's an option. Um, definitely the fan favorite. I would, I would imagine because of the numbers is uh, the THC Baby Marley, which has I, I don't even remember how many um, views on SoundCloud. Um, but so with that being said, um, so those are those are those are some of your popular songs. Like, so what, what was the process like making those two songs? Or just what, what's the process like making your music in general? Like, how do you go about it? Yo, the crazy thing is like, I'm not one of those artists that like, wakes up in the morning and be like, I want to make a song. A lot of my songs really come from uh, pain, you know what I mean? So it's like, if I'm going through something rather than like, uh, hurting myself or hurting others in a physical or in a mental, spiritual way. I just put it down, you know what I'm saying? And just jot it down and make it a song. And uh, it's it, it's really effective because people, I feel like a lot of my music or just most of my music 
um, speaks for people who are afraid to speak. You know what I mean? So like, um, the process of me making my music really just comes from pain. Yeah. You know, it's 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 just authentic pain, and I mean, it, it, it speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? So like, like with the garden, for example, like when I made the garden, um, you know, I was in a really tough position, and um, rather than letting my frustration out in the world, I had a studio right there yeah. in the comfort of my home. So I was like, nah, let me just put it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. So. So, so a lot of, so a lot of your music comes from a process of feeling and emotions and going through the motions. And I totally understand what you mean by. Most definitely. I totally understand as an artist myself, I know what you mean by like using that artistry, using that outlet as a way to um, vent out, you know, a lot of those feelings and whatnot, because sometimes like even, you know, in my own, in, in my own scenarios, like rather than like venting out how I feel in a certain situation, which could, you know, harm a relationship or anything of that nature, I'll put it out on paper and I'll vent it out that way. So I totally understand that process. And that's a, that's, that's just a process that distinguishes like real um, artists in general, because that, that is just, it's just a, a method, you know, that most artists go through, or at least most artists that have a long, like a, a, longevity um within their career go through you know what i'm saying of course um, if that resonates but so is there is there like a process where you know you make a beat first or you know you have lyrics first or like how like how exactly does it happen in that methodology well usually like i said first it comes from like my pain yeah and then it definitely comes down to the beat like so the beat um, first. Yeah, it's definitely the beat first. Um, I'm like the type of person, like, like I said, like if I'm in a good mood, that beat you you're gonna hear in the beat that it's a like I'm, I'm in a great mood. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. So it's like it, it starts with the beat first. I usually have like the melody or like a sample, like you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm really a sample guy. Like I said, Kanye West is definitely one of my favorite artists. Oh yeah. So like, if I go through something. I think about a song that I can relate to and I'll just flip the shit and then like put my own two senses into it. And then from there, I like literally I'll fuck around, listen to the beat for like two straight weeks. My nigga just, yeah. damn, like I'm not even thinking about what to write to it. Cause like I'm the type of person that I don't think when I write, it just, it comes naturally. So it's like, as I'm vibing to the beat, the shit just pop up and be like, yo, this is all right. That's what I gotta say. You feel know I me? Mean? So it's like mm -hmm. the beat comes first, and then I, you know, what I'm saying I, I let it rest, and then magic happens. I feel, I, yeah, I just, yo, this is, is just straight from the most high. Cause like, I'm not the type of nigga to like just sit there and like, you know, fuck my head up thinking about what to say. Like it, it's real. You know, it just comes naturally. So, you know, um, <laughs> shit, niggas are still waiting for a fucking album to drop. So you feel me? It's just. It's it's something that like it, it just it's, it has to come, you know. Right, right, right. Writing process. Um, so that 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 definitely is relatable. Um, who yeah. do you, who do you feel your music is? For? Uh, before I even get to that question, um, is there? And I don't I don't mean to compare or anything like that. But who would you compare yourself to? <laughs> do, you like, do you feel like your sound is just? is so unique or you don't even just want to go there like listen i am who i am whatever. how do you how do you want to set that record <laughs> so the funny thing is um it's mad fucking funny cuz uh Travis Scott i fuck with him heavy you feel me and like it's funny cuz we both look up to the same people so it's like i wouldn't even compare myself to him it's literally people outside of, you know what I'm saying? People that I know and shit, they be like, yo, like, you got Travis Scott vibing. You know, don't get me fucked up. Like, I fuck with him, his music is awesome and shit, but like, to be compared to somebody who, we both look up to the same people, it's, it's almost like competition. So it just makes me wanna like, differentiate myself from him. But like, you know, um, I definitely like, listen to people and like, 
not I don't bite off of them. It's more so like inspiration. Like, you know, shout out to Smokey Margella and shit, ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott and Playboy Cardi. Those are the only people who are like when I'm ready, like when I'm not listening to my own music, those are the people who I like, all right, let me get some inspiration. Let me like let me catch a vibe nothing, for me. In that sense, nothing is original in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Everything comes of course. From- you know, and they're all pioneers and people that, like, make a new sound, but they, it was all inspired from someone from somewhere. And, you know, as, as a, you know, as a, a culture or just in general, people like to make comparisons and just, you know, correlate things. That just makes it a lot simpler for them. Um, but I could definitely see why some people say Travis and whatnot. It, there are some tenants, there are some ser- similarities. Um, but there are many differences. Um, right. So, so my piggyback right. off of that, not even piggyback, but just to my follow-up question, uh, is there, who, who, who is your audience? Like, who do you feel your audience is? Do you, <laughs> do you, are you looking, like, obviously this is a market, you know, the industry is a market where you want to cap, you want to grab everybody, but there is, is there, you know, um, a certain audience that you feel like, you have. Most definitely. My my artists, uh, I mean my 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 fan base, I feel like and I even I feel like I just know it, like people who draw to my music are people who are broken inside, you know. Um people who have imperfections, people who have flaws, and definitely people who um that can't speak for themselves, you know. I was once one of those people that couldn't speak for myself until I found an outlet where I could actually, like, yeah. speak up, you know? So, like, my music definitely is for, and the people who listen to my music are people who are, like, just broken. Outcast. That's just trying to find a way out. Yeah, outcast, you know? Like, yeah. like, 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 people that, like, <laughs> even, like, people who try to act hard and, like, you know, gangsters and shit that just... Because we have a soft side to them. Misunderstood, you know what I'm saying? And that's where, like, exactly. we dropped that delinquent uh, track, which is interesting because I think that's that's kind of the audience you're, you're trying to um, captivate as well. Like, the people that are delinquent, you know, that, that feel like they're the outcasts and whatnot. And, um, and so I could see, I could see how everything comes together. Um, yeah with, you know, the audience that you're looking to capture, things of that nature. So, like, is, so, is your music somewhat of a, a therapy and an outlet to contribute as well? Oh, no, of course. More, more importantly, first and foremost, my music isn't something, like, to catch a vibe to. Like, it, it's not a thing to, like, smoke to. Of course it is. But when I make my music, I make sure, like, when somebody hears it, they're like, like, like it's 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 picking at something that they don't want to be picked at. Like, mm. my music is like, damn, like this nigga really just says some shit that I go through, and like it's fucking annoying because I know I'm going through it, but now he's saying it, and like, I feel it more than ever, you know? Yeah. So, for sure, for sure, like it's it's therapy, it's therapy first. And then it's like, all right, let me smoke and let me catch a vibe to it, shit like that. You feel me? Like, what what vibe do you feel you cap you uh, you uh, you capitalize most in your music? Like, do you got that like trap? Do you got that like not not even trap? But uh, do you have do you have that like emotional vibe? Like, what's the definitely. vibe? Definitely. Like, where are you? So, where are you in the gradation? So, like, my vibe is definitely like emotional, like. I'm an Aries, you feel me? So I feel like I try to make my sign uh, uh, speak through the music, you know? Yeah. Um, but I, I do it to where it's like, yeah, I'm sad as fuck, but we still go vibe. We still right, go right, vibe. Right. We still go level. like... <laughs> level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got yeah, like, I don't, I don't want people to like, damn near commit suicide to my shit, but I want people to feel like, damn, I am going through this. Yeah. But the fucking, but the, but the, the energy behind it is so fucking positive that I don't want to jump off this fucking roof. <laughs> you right. feel me? So it's like I want people to embrace their feelings through my music, but at the same time deal with their shit. 
So like, is that what you feel the message is? Is that like, def- is there a message to your music? Is there something that, you know, and I know you mentioned, I know you mentioned a lot about, um, you know, being transparent and being vulnerable and things of things like that. I guess there's an overall message that you're trying to portray. Do you even like, I know there's artists out there like ASAP that don't really care to play that political or even like, I'm not out like he, I, I, I guess one, what he was trying to say was like, listen, I'm just doing music. Like I'm not trying to really. You know, right, music. right, right. Like, well, do you feel like you're, you have a message and you're trying to contribute unlike, you know, some other artists that just want to put music out in general? Yeah. So like I said, like, you feel me? Um, the message that, the message that I have in my music is really just like, sit down with your demons, have a cup of tea and see what the fuck is going on in your head. <laughs> I like you know it. what I'm saying? Like, real shit, like, all my music, even if it's hype-ass shit, I'm always saying, like, get up, get on your shit and let's do it. You're not alone. Like, you know, if, 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 I'm not, I know I'm not near you, but with my music, I'm going into your head and I'm, and I'm, and I'm trying to like plant a seed of positivity. So all in all, like my music, the message is just straight positivity and love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like in a sense, I feel like, um, I'm like the Jesus Christ of this shit. Cause like, I, I don't really sacrifice myself because I'm putting my feelings out there. And <clears throat> a lot of artists are scared to do that. But me, I'm not scared because there's nothing that I want from this shit. If anything, I just want to give, you know what I'm saying? So that's really my message is get up, get this money, look good, feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like no animosity, like fuck beef. Like this is what it's about. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not a street nigga, but at the same time I hold my own. So it's like, just because, and this is the message too in my music. Like just because I'm saying I'm a sad ass nigga don't mean you can't get dropped. <laughs> I put all of that. It's just, that's what I'm saying. Like I want people to really feel like, Yo, like, ah, if I'm crying, I'm crying, but don't get me fucked up at the same time, you know? Yeah. So that's really my message. The different, different faces, different, um, different messages and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, of course, because there's, and that's that's the beauty. That's what makes an artist, like, that's what makes good. That's what makes good artists, right? That they're able to like have different vibes and different flows. And some people are only like. Oh, other people have multifacets. And from your music, you do have like a whole range of like, yo, let's get turned up. Or exactly. Like, hey, let's just sit down with some whiskey and like fucking, you know, drown the night away. <laughs> yeah, like exactly, bro. Which, like, which, you feel me? Which, like, which really um, is, a, is an attestment to your, your skill and um, the, 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 the amount of um, skills and different vibes that you have in your palette. Um, which is amazing, and and I'm a big fan, big fan of your music. I got multiple playlists. I got a playlist. Thank you, thank on Spotify. you. I got a playlist on SoundCloud. You feel me? And um, when I'm in the when I'm in the mood, I jump I jump on a on a THC playlist. Um, oh yeah, that's what's up. So, Yo, if you don't mind me asking you, like, what's what's like one of your favorite songs? Oh, okay. Uh, one of my favorite songs. Damn, they switch because you've been dropping a lot lately. <laughs> um, that's a fact, bro. I'm, you know this. You know what? I should be okay. So from so let's put it this way: from like your actual released music, um, random thoughts. There's so many, but I like random thoughts. Nigga, I was dead ass crying when I made the beat. You feel me? And like, 
like the beat, like like once I once I made like the loop and shit in the background, I already knew what kind of vibe it was gonna be. So like that song really, like I said, that that's that's one that's a song that's like basically niggas could be hyper shit to, but I'm really deep down in my head telling you what the fuck is really going on with me. You feel me? So it's like I I didn't want that song to be like emotional and whack at the same time. Cause you know, artists, they drop emotional tracks and shit. And it's just like, okay, I'm rocking to it. But in reality it's like, all right, like we, that's, that's some shit I go to like when I'm in my bag, but that's a song that I feel like even if you happy, you can still listen to it. Cause it's just a friendly reminder that right. we all go through some shit, but we can still vibe off of like, you know, being sad at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And be positive at the same time. So Right, right, right. No, nah, that's, that's all it's about. A lot of emotion in that. And and I'm a I'm a I wear I wear my emotions on my sleeve too. And when I'm in that mood, like, you know, it's 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 really in any mood. Like it's it's I could I could listen to that song and you know, no matter what mood I'm in. But um beyond that, uh they're all I'm honestly you got a a ton of great songs. I like Get Out too. Get out, get out of the fire. Oh out. man. <laughs> Get out is one of my tracks as well. That's my personal favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time's hard, so I gotta find a way out. Nigga like me, gotta find a way out. But yeah, those, those two are, are, are significant ones. I'm telling you, I got two playlists um, that I could choose many different ones, but I'll just leave it there to keep this concise. Um, but what's going on? Like, uh, what do you have? What are you working on right now? Do you have any projects, any music, or any? tapes that you're trying to put out? Okay, well, right now, um, it's crazy because, you know, I've been talking some emotional shit, you know, during this whole fucking interview. And like, I feel like um, <clears throat> my next project is really gonna be me getting into my bag, into my feelings and into my thoughts. So I'm really, I'm gonna be dropping some shit real soon, real soon. Um, and it's all gonna be unreleased. Uh, you know, I was thinking about creating a project where all the stuff that I dropped and just making it an album, but it's kind of like it's already out there. So right yeah. now I'm just going to drop some shit with like all unreleased tracks, definitely all produced by me and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't have a, 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 a an album title yet, but it's definitely going to be based off of my sign, which is an Aries. The theme is going to just basically be... um. Like it's gonna be a warrior thing, you know what I'm saying? Um uh, basically a story of a man that just overcame all the obstacle courses. What is that? I said the, the good old hero's journey, right? Nah, for real, yo, for real, for real. But like like it sounds boring, you know, like to the to the to, to the genera to the generation I live in, but like I'm so creative and I'm so like outspoken that this shit is gonna be like so real that niggas is gonna like hood niggas is gonna be bopping to the shit and it's just gonna go viral. You know what I mean? So like it's definitely gonna be like warrior theme, like I said, like man that came from nothing, got somewhere and like you know what I'm saying? And that's just a, preaching all types of positivity. That's just a cultural meme, you feel me? Like throughout history, we've always we've always um culture and society has always thrived and enjoyed listening to stories like that hero story you know what i mean it's, it's it's all throughout you know biblical stories throughout ancient stories and and things like that like that's something that'll never i don't think that'll ever get old like it just maybe nowadays like it gets a little watered down but that is something that hero's journey is something people want because we all want to have that own story for ourselves and constantly of course that's some real shit I'm excited to see that when it comes out. Do you have like a date? Um, 
to be real, I don't have a date, but I'm definitely gonna drop some shit by the end of the year. Okay. Um, way sooner by way sooner than the year ends. Like probably like in the summertime, some shit. You feel me? Like where everybody's hot and ready to fuck somebody up. I'm mean, gonna just drop some shit to cool everybody down. Like here's a here's a bucket of ice cold water, nigga. Cool I, yo, I down. imagine I imagine a lot of artists are like probably jumping out of their bed right now to contribute during this time. Because right now, if you ain't dropping music right now, then you missing an opportunity to, you know, contribute and say something. And, you know, there's a lot of energy right now. And I think, I think, sure. it, I think it'll be beneficial to put something out definitely before the year ends, because who the hell knows what's going to happen? <laughs> by the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck knows? Mm -hmm. But, you know, with that being said, uh, I definitely want to follow up uh, going forward. But before we end this, um, you want to let everybody know what your, you know, your plug is, where you at, the standard third? Oh, yeah, man. So my Instagram, you know what I'm saying, is unbothered2083. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a couple YouTube channels, but you know what I'm saying? Like right now, um, the only one that I'm really using is the Big Fish. So if you look at the Big Fish, I'll be there on YouTube and stuff. My SoundCloud is Unbothered1995 Worldwide. Long ass title, but I like to be very distinctive because, you know, if you look that shit up, I'm the only person with that name. So, right. like I said, my SoundCloud is Unbothered1995 Unbothered, 1995 Worldwide. And my Instagram is Unbothered2083. And then I do have another Instagram, which is like my fan page and stuff like that. That's unbothered1995. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to see me, if you want to see anything that I put up, it's definitely on those um, sources of social media. And you're and you're also on Spotify as um, THC Baby Marley. Oh, of course. Of course. You look me up on Apple Music. I'll be, uh, yo. Got you. <laughs> yo, I'll, be living, I'll be living life so real. I'll be forgetting like about my artistry shit. Like, yeah. yeah, you look me up on... Uh, Apple, Spotify, uh, I'm definitely TAC Baby Marley and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? If niggas want to catch a vibe and shit, that's where, you, that's where you catch me. I got you. And um, I'll put all those links and whatnot. But, you know, it was a, it was a pleasure. I'm a big fan. Keep putting that music out. Um, you know, keep us, uh, keep, keep us, um, you know, keep feeding us uh, all, that, all that music that you got out there and uh, all that creativity and whatnot. And like I said, I'm looking forward to do a follow-up and, you know, another chat with you, man. But I appreciate your time. And um, we'll talk for another day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Yo, bless up, man. Take care of yourself. Government gon' treat me like a target. I'm